Hi guys, I hope you all are fine. I'm physical therapist Dhani Shatik and you're watching Physio Guides. In today's video, I'm going to tell you the best way to perform the upper limb neurodynamic test. Now, the importance of this test that this test is considered equivalent to the straight leg raise in the lumbar spine. This test is basically designed to put stress on the neurological structure of the upper limb. But in truth, this test also puts stress on the soft tissues of the upper limb. Now the neurological structures are differentiated by the sensitizing test which means this flexion of the neck. This test has a high sensitivity of 94%. Link is given in the description. So before wasting any further time, let's get started. Upper limb neurodynamic test is further divided into four parts. First one is known as Shewell NT1. This test is used to put stress or stretch the median nerve plus anterior interosseous nerve. For UL NT test 1, patient should be in the spine position. Now depress the shoulder and abduct the shoulder up to the 110 degree. Elbow should be flexed, forearm should be supinated. Now extend the wrist and externally rotate the shoulder. Now start extending the elbow. To increase the pressure on the median nerve and the anterior interosseous nerve, tell the patient to bend his neck towards the contralateral side, just like this. This will increase the pressure on these neurological structures. The UL NT2 is used to stretch the median nerve, musculocutaneous nerve and the axillary nerve. For UL NT2 test, patient again should be in the spine position. Shoulder width will be depressed with your hip. Now abduct the shoulder up to the 10 degree. Again, elbow will be flexed and forearm supinated and wrist should be extended. Now start extending the elbow. To again increase the pressure and solidity on the neurological structures, tell the patient to bend his neck toward the contralateral side, just like this. UL NT3 test is used to put stress on the radial nerve. For UL NT3, again the patient will be in spine position. Shoulder will be depressed and abducted up to the 110 degree. Now flex the elbow, pronate the forearm, flex the fingers and wrist. Now start extending the elbow. Again to increase pressure on the neurological structure, tell the patient to bend his neck toward the contralateral side. ULNT4 test is used to put stress on the ulnar nerve plus C8 and T1 nerve roots. For ULNT4 test, Again, patient should be in the spine position. Shoulder should be depressed and abducted up to the 90 degree. Now, forearm in, pronated and wrist should be extended. Now start flexing the elbow. Again, to increase the pressure on, on the neurological structure, tell the patient to bend his neck toward the contralateral side, just like this. The upper limb neurodynamic test will be considered positive if the patient shows neurological symptom while you are extending the elbow above the 60 degrees. I hope you get the right way to perform the upper limb neurodynamic test. If you want to learn about this purling test, click on my right and if you want to learn about the distraction test, click on my left. See you in another video. Bye.